Hey, Robbie. Uh, Jack from Flat Cap Bureau Talk and Irish Hotspur here. Uh, I guess the Stefan de Vry rumors are happening again. They seem to have been quite continuous this entire time. Uh, so let's break down again, maybe if we were to go after de Vry, what he could bring to Spurs. I'm going to share my screen of a video I did on the channel kind of in the past, you know, and born in a place in Netherlands I can barely understand or be able to uh, pronounce, but uh, I think you can all try your best as well. Uh, 29 years of age, uh, I believe at this stage, maybe he might be older now, maybe he might be 30, uh, does play in a, as a center back, plays as a left-sided center back and as a middle uh, kind of center back in the back three, probably would be the best at maybe playing in the position that Dyer does, if you ask me, or, you know, could play, you know, Ben Davies's position as well. But that is where Alessandro Bastoni plays. Uh, he is quite tall, six feet, two inches, 1.89 meters. His club, uh, his youth club uh, from the Eredivisie, because he is a Dutch international, was Feyenoord. Uh, and now he is. Uh, been an interplayer for some time. He's been in the Serie A for quite a long time. You would say a Serie A veteran, that is the league that he knows best, uh, which does kind of make sense for maybe why Paragici and Conte are so familiar with the guy because he's been around for quite some time in the Italian league. Uh, valued around 45 million pounds. Last time I made that video, could have been, you know, probably changed from then. Uh, but his agent is Mino Raiola, which certainly is something that needs to be taken into account as well. Uh, ball playing center back. He has an eye for a pass. Unbelievable composure as well. Uh, really knows how to read the game. Less of a robust and, you know, kind of aggressive center back like Romero, but a really good reader of the game, I must say. Uh, is really good at ball carrying. Really composed about it as well. I would say you'd be surprised to see have the ball kind of taken off of him because he just knows how to be able to play the pass at the right time. Knows how to wait a pass. Knows how to receive it under pressure. Just a very calm, cool, collected sort of center back. Uh, and also plays the ball on the floor quite a lot. He has good just passing percentages in general, uh, but does play the ball on the floor very well. Let's just break out, break down some stats. When he was playing with Conte last season, um, progressive carrying distance in the Serie A. So this is just, you know, his carrying ability. You know, how much is he carrying the ball forward? You know, was in the top 8% of uh, players, of center backs in the Serie A when it came to just carrying the ball forwards. That has to do a lot with Conte's system, though. Don't get me wrong. You can tell again by uh, the player's dribble pass, you know, ranking in the top 3% there for all center backs. Uh, that just shows, again, you know, he is a good ball carry. So it's kind of backing up uh, the, the seeing eye test along with, you know, the bit of the stats as well. Uh, you can tell again, as I was saying, plays the ball majority on the floor. I would say, again, you can see that through the stats there. Can read the game with how much he intercepts passes. Pass completion percentage is very good. And in terms of fouls committed, you know, he doesn't actually commit that many, uh, which is also uh, kind of maybe you could say a good thing. I'd probably, you know, not really something I'd be too uh, worried about. But you could say maybe in the Premier League, you want them to be a bit more aggressive like a Romero. Uh, so I could actually see uh, what, you know, maybe, you know, people's kind of issue is with that as well. Uh, but, you know, so far with DeVry, what I must say is I think he could be a good center back for us. Um, he's not really my first choice, but of course, as we've all been saying, if Conte wants him, then certainly that is the, the player that we should be going after and we should be giving the players that Conte knows that he can succeed with. Uh, this season so far, you know, numbers-wise, stats-wise, he's looking pretty good. He's still being used quite a lot by... Uh, and Zaghi over there, who is having a great season at Inter, uh, which shows that no matter what manager he is, you know, consistently doing well in that back three. I really would not be upset about this transfer. I just feel like there's better out there. And also getting a, a guy that age, you know, moving into the center back position of a, a back three in the Premier League, I feel like it's a bit different than the Serie A. So I would be interested to see if DeVry could be able to make that move. But uh, do let me know, everybody, uh, in the comments of Robbie's section. And as always, if you want to see what I did think about, you know, DeVry back then, did a video on him a while ago, feel free to head on over to Flag Cap Bureau Talk. Thanks, Robbie. Bye.